A wildlife emergency in Sea Isle City. Eight dolphins end up stranded on the shore. Crew spending much of the afternoon trying to keep them alive. But sadly, none of them survived. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez. Uh, the shocking discovery at two locations. Part of it in the area of 50th Street and Ocean Drive. That's where two were found. Then the other at 52nd Street. That's where six were found. Hank, you were there as it all unfolded. What can you tell us? Well, Jason, Sheba, consider all the stories that we've done, and we've done quite a few all this winter about mammals washing up on the shore. This is different in two particular ways. In this particular one, eight, count them, eight dolphins that swam directly to shore. We've never seen that before, and that is an eyewitness account. The other is that there was hope. Six of them initially survived. We're hearing now, as you said, that they have been euthanized. A group of dolphins just turned and ran straight in for the beach. Tim Ramsey was having his morning coffee when he says he saw it from his porch. He sees dolphins all the time, never, he says, making a beeline straight for the beach. I'm looking through the binoculars, and I noticed that there were six of them that were flailing on the beach and realized that they weren't going to get back out again, so I called the police. When my officers arrived, it was determined that they found eight between 51st and 52nd. Um, there was uh, two of them that... Um, were, were obviously deceased, and then there were six of them that were still alive. Seattle City Police Chief Anthony Gareffi spoke to us before news broke that the dolphins had been put down. He says Tim's 911 call had brought police and public works out quickly, and they called brigantines at Marine Mammal Stranding Center for advice as they pulled up. They told us uh, while they were responding to uh, get buckets of water and, and uh, to get um, blankets on them to keep their skin moist and wet. By about 2 o'clock, the living ones had been removed. By 3.30, we found out from the stranding center that they'd been euthanized. The chief was busy, but had made note of the dolphin species. We were told uh, the species is a, it's called a common dolphin. Um, they are a deep water mammal, and um, it's, it's, from what we were told, it's uncommon for them to, to be this close to to the beaches. So why did they beach themselves? In their press release, the Stranding Center it says they share the public's sorrow for the loss of the animals and they hope that a necropsy will inform them as to the dolphins cause of death. Onlookers, however, came with increasing speculations about the sonar surveying for wind farms going on off the beach. My first take is maybe the uh, wind turbines that they put offshore. The fact that they won't stop the testing for the windmill farms is really it's really sad to everybody in our, actually, not sad, we're mad. We're mad they're not stopping it. Sure. Now, guys, uh, marine biologists and researchers with Gotham Whale and NOAA have told us something different over the course of the past few months. In other words, warmer ocean temperatures are bringing more mammal food into the water, thus bringing more mammals into a more heavily, uh, heavily trafficked area. That, however, has been gradual, and critics say with as many mammals as have been washing up on our shores just over the past several months, they're attacking the one thing that's different out there right now this season, and that, without question, is that surveying. Guys, we are live in Seattle. City. Back to you. Just a startling, sad scene out there in Sea Isle City. Hank, thank you.